Lord. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tembela Mpata and this is Uncomfortable Journey with Tembela. Um, I am on site, so I am quite busy today. It's a bit dusty, as you can see my hair, but I wanted to share today's nugget. It's a pickup nugget and um, I thought, okay, since it's lunch time, let me just sit down and just do this nugget. I don't have much time, but I want to do this. Because I don't have a tripod, so I'll be quick. Um, I hope everyone is ready and you are ready to start. You have started. Most of us have gone back to work. So um, I hope that you are fine. You are doing good. And um, you are ready. You are ready and you are doing okay. So um, I know that most of us are looking forward. So I'll, I'll keep looking down because I have my notes. Uh, most of us are, are getting ready to start with this year. And um, so that's why I thought, okay, maybe some of us, because some of us maybe are still stuck. We don't know where to start. It's like most about a band goals and and for some reason i found goals or any long-term goals last year to be really overwhelming because i wrote goals last year and the list was like long i would say it was long because i couldn't finish the list and when every time i looked at the list I would like Ngati like in some money stroke <laughs> because I wanted to achieve it so bad, but because like I couldn't, and then go every time when I look at it, I'm like, hands of money stroke. Go see, I'm, I want these things, but I'm not going to be able to get these things. Um, I will try to do the nuggets every week, but I do not promise that I will be consistent, but I will try my best. To do the nuggets every week so that we we get into the this year 2024 i did feel a bit stuck guys i did feel a bit stuck um in terms of no matter what do you guys want like i got confused no matter do you guys want me to show my face do you want vlogs do you want me to sit down and talk do you want motivation um topics things like that but uh, I figured maybe you guys just for now let's just start with um, nuggets just to get ourselves going ne? and then you know, as we continue we will start talking about um, maybe do vlogs in between we will start talking about isn't just in the guy during the year because the goal really for this channel is for us to share our life journey um, our growth as we grow in this life ne? Um, but if you have ideas if you have ideas and you think something that I'll be good at doing please um, give me a comment uh, tell me if you have any ideas that you think they will be really fit for me then I will really really go for those and try them out uh, if you remember in my last video I spoke about um, three pillars ne? i spoke about three pillars three pillars please check that video i spoke about three pillars and it, the goal was really to get us started because i didn't want us to see the least year goals sitting in the vision boards sitting a fasting yes those things are very important but for my from my experience last year i have experienced E pressure from writing e list your goals in there so i thought okay i'm not going to pressurize about by saying write down your goals uh, remember them and do them yeah but i, I didn't want to give you guys a pressure so because now i'm funny pressure this year i'm taking a day as it comes that's why in my last video i i was speaking about E, e, e embracing or embracing the unknown because i really want to embrace the unknown this year i want to embrace every year and just um take the day as it comes because i don't want to be overwhelmed and feel the pressure and and uh, depend and think I focus on today because I'm so fixated in Dobana. I need to finish this. I need to finish that. I need to tick this box. And young alone don't know. Uh, this year I was like, okay, I'm just going to write my to do. 
list as my goals every day. Ne, indwan funuz achieve every day, and work towards those every day and appreciate them and appreciate the efforts that I've put every day so that dinga bendi di frustrated and obana I didn't achieve it. Yo, is indwan ninza si amang yelo bolam last year. Yo, yabo. So and so appreciate what I can do today, what I was able to do today, to come and learn nigga wanna for me to do today. So that is my my really my my strategy this year. Um I couldn't fast this year because of some personal reasons, but really, really those that have done a fasting uh, kudos to you you have done really good because it is important for us to start a year with a fast it gives us that um like sneaker man and obanas we are back to god because he gives us guidance direction for us to to start to so when we start with the fasting we start with that with that um so i did indirect different this year I, I didn't do a fasting and writing of the goals or any vision board because i still have a vision board yeah last year which still overwhelms me when i look at it but now i am breaking it down kakundi chopper chopper every like me chopper gang gang get get daily goals dingacho and and that has given me in and peace of mind because last year i was like oh I'm not going to do this again because I was really, really, really overwhelmed. Enough about that. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Indo A and Indobana is really going to give us a mantra. You guys know Indobana, I don't talk about this Indo. That is not involved with because I am a child of God. I am a Christian and I want to involve Tilka Windows on that I speak about because who are we without God? <laughs> How are we going to build our lives, even the things that we want, without um, us having Him? So, a topic here, like our pickup nugget, is uh, found in Luke 17, verses 32. This is um Remember Lord's wife. Remember Lord's wife. The verse starts with remember. Remember, like, like, that is a most and it is reminding us of what happened to Lord's wife. And it starts by saying, remember. Like, we are people that at some point we tend to, to forget. And in the Bible, in the Bible, that now you are taking a wrong direction. Remember. Lord's wife. So we're going to just talk about um, remembering um, Lord's wife. Oh, look, oh, look. Um, chapter seventeen is it's all about warning. Ne, so when I try to call this one, ne, I'm just going to read that this. Ne, he starts by saying things that cause people to stumble are bound to come. Things that cause people to stumble are bound to come. You do not have control. In the banana, in the is a is a wednesday like indo as i wish okay is indo that are coming are not going to make you stumble but zip bound into banazitin is this we say as in as as not all of them but some of them they are bound to banazitin the sense is see and then up i continue with fast forwarding to verse 20 because the the chapter is divided into three three um the paragraphs, three paragraphs as the verses as it divided, and then from 20 to 37, he is talking about the coming of the kingdom of God. Ne, utaja payana nge coming of the kingdom of God. Utinokbana, if ni akumbula, um, if you are reading from verses 26 to 28, ne, utinokbana apa ulok, and as it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did it, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Verses 28, likewise, 
also as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drank, they brought, they bought, they sold, they planted, and they built it. So, ubuya kuka Yesu Christu kuzofana nenyi day inje eno ma klambu Yesu Christu zofika nje na mtikope in my car, doing my own things, design some klambu this video, and kia wanti dust, and suge sa itin, and dinga ya zindu mana that he is coming today. But kia, I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on the point that i u u u u u u u u u u Ephesus kum laka ke story sake Lot was in nephew ka Abraham kum chana ka Abraham so Abraham when he was called out of his country by u u u u Abraham chose no bana not to go alone but to take u u u chana wa ke u Lot so he took u Lot along with him so as they journeyed along ne lot of things happened as much as lot of things happened even their livestock like they had children along the way and then as this into is cool then Abraham as wise as he was because I I feel or think that the decision he took is because he was a wise man and we know we still this Abraham and then what uh, into Nubana now that he, he loves talking and our servants are fighting each other because they're trying to to like god but try direct in to and everything by a balu and helen i think we must separate ne but where they were standing and how any i and utu wa ujonga nga hapu buwani green pastures ne and then kwa ujonga kwenye nye kala ubuwa nye nye kala ele ele nga fanyo nye nye kala ne kutu ulote na ewa jonga he looked and looked around as he was told by Abraham to choose first nanzo nye ndo ya iwa zungu Abraham is to tell umtane ndo bana choose first choose first mna i'm not gonna choose although i'm supposed to choose first but i'm not gonna choose what maga choose the first the place that he thinks he will be suitable cool this green place ne? not knowing that what was inside not a mistake yet when we choose it places in as funubakuzo okay things that we want to do as you're going to make decisions this year evaluate the thing that you're going to choose don't look only on the inside on the outside sorry look also on the inside take time as well to say yes to something don't just jump and say yes to it. Think about it because we That what was happening at Sodom and Gomorrah. The Sodom looked so green afar. Kulote and Kulote was like, I'm going to choose that because it looks beautiful. And don't go go green and you want to end the kapana. You know, it's beautiful. So Ulote chose that place, only looking by Injela ya Inge, I I I so dumb gapan. So Ulote what had the tent like, and he pitched his tent outside of his Sodom and Gomorrah. Outside of his Sodom and Gomorrah, ne? He pitched his tent outside of Sodom and Gomorrah. Let me look at the time. Okay, it's five two. Outside of I I Sodom and Gomorrah, ne? But as it was really Amba, Ulote got into Sodom and Gomorrah because he had to go and buy. He had to associate with people on the next door, like Abu Zimbuilo, Ebantuin. And he got to know the people inside. And he loved the inside that he moved with his family into the inside, which was Sodom and Gomorrah. So he stayed in Sodom and Gomorrah and Utikoyoku, where he was fed up with the things that were happening in Sodom and Gomorrah that he visited Abraham. And Abraham told the angels to cut the story short. Told angels, Nobana, I know that you're going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, but I have someone that I know and love that stays in Sodom and Gomorrah. And one third, what clearly angels, Nobana, let's go and um, go and 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 get on Ulot and his family outside of Sodom and Gomorrah. So. Nyangi angels now they did that because Utiko loved Abraham. Ne? Utiko loved Abraham and Waimamela because Abraham also listened to God. That's another point. And then, Ulo, e, 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 angels they, they took Ulot on the day ne? and they gave them instructions that you must not look back. This will happen to you if you look back. We must look forward as we move along. Don't. Even ten and I to Sodom and Gomorrah. 
jongake into yenzekayo so as they move with their family and daughters also with their the, with his wife who lot in angels and and abantwana bakhe his wife because his wife he her heart was still at Sodom though she was moving with the angels ne though she was moving with angels moving forward her heart was being left at Sodom and Gomorrah and that is shown by the way she's disregarding instructions from God that she must not look back she looked back and she became a pillar of salt i'm going to be fast she became a pillar of salt and that thing kengoku yobana she was moving with the angels and also she, she she looked back and she became a pillar of 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 salt now i want us to come back come back to us because now we are in the beginning of the year we just entered 2024 what things have you left behind in 2023 that you are still stuck on that even god has made you organ you to has blessed you okay and i don't want to say he has blessed you what it has done a marvelous thing dog bana who enter the show 2024 but when you are still stuck in 2024 or 2023 you are still um you are moving yes with god but your heart is not with god your heart is still left in sodom and gomorrah which is your 2023 ne? you are still thinking about the things you could have had which now god has given you opportunity for you to to make a new organ okay, to change the strategy you are still so fixated into the things that you could have done you could have achieved yet you are missing the opportunity and the blessings that god have for you in 2024 so my topic for today ne? that's why i said remember is that when god has given us an opportunity for us to move away from the things that could have would have ne? because we do we all have them we could have we could have done this we could have but then it didn't happen god has given us this blessing because it's a blessing to be in this year and you are still starting your year this blessing now i'm asking you sister my sister to move into this year yes it happened those things that happened and you moved with them because they happened they are with you yes they didn't happen so now forget about them okay yes try to find ne? try to find a way for you to achieve them if you still want them this year try to find a way but do not be left behind and become a pillar of salt because you are refusing to move with god because even though um unantika umfaz galot ne? was moving with the angels i would say with god but he, she was not because where are you moving to if your heart is still behind where where are you going you are not going anywhere so do yourself a fa do yourself a favor ne? this year and and try to find peace peace that surpasses all understanding and and move with god and and move with e e e e e e e open eye and try to figure out what is it that god wants to do in my life Kulonyaga and 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 thank him for 2023. It happened. It could have. It could not have. Yabo needs, but thank him for 2023. You didn't become something that. Oganye, you you were blessed enough to enter this year. You are blessed enough to to be given another opportunity for you to change the things that could have would have. 2023. Wow. So be thankful and move with God. And move intentionally with God, not just move because Umfaz Galoto was not intentional. She was not um, thinking about where she was going. She was thinking about where she was coming from. That's another danger. You you, you need you need to to okay about We only look back for we only look back for what. For Ufumanidobana, what God has done for us, that about turn the stack because Lendo is in my mind, but I cannot put it into words. We only look back because of the things that God has done. Right? But sometimes Uchonga Epeki can can make us see see 
si lose the focus of what is at hand okay si lose the time and the blessing of what we have at our 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 hands ne? yeah so that that is my 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 really my my um my nugget for today that you you um you move with god that's a kind and you move like like intentionally and and forgive yourself for the things that happened last year and and be okay with what could have what would have and 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 try to find peace I, as i am speaking with you today i am trying to find peace of the things okay guess into that could have would have happened okay as in the gang that is in your eyes and then why you i told i took a decision be bad i could have taken this decision but i did not and and god has opened my eyes no man okay when this opportunity comes again full of me a little bit and 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 relax don't don't hurry up and go to the decision maybe relax cool more than color so that you know when you take a decision intentional this year my word is intentional i want to do everything with an open eye and not rush things but be cool with things even if they are not going gangela now that i want them to go ne? and be okay with that that okay they are not going according to what i would wanted i would want but then they are going anyway and i am fine with that that okay i am learning yeah boy so in this season let's let's be comfortable where god has positioned us and and be happy that we have entered the year and look forward to what god has in store for us because a god that we serve is a god that is able to give us double portion double portion of the things that we have lost Ne, we are quite no banana at the things that we have lost as in no banana z multiply. Nalanto that you looking back to as a quince bay pila, unga quasu move forward. Ions no banana, e pin the tin, establish a party. He cannot do that without you moving with him. So this year, let's move with God so that we can have whatever He has for us in the storehouse. Amen. I hope you guys are going to receive this word. Um thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for always always supporting me. Um I look forward to your comments and I always look forward to your um your 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 subscribing and your comments, your likes and God willing everything will be will be as God want. Thank you so much and bye. <laughs>